Hello everyone, this is MD StarCraft. The MD does not mean I have a degree in StarCraft, however awesome that would be if I could get one. Uh, it stands for Maryland, which is where I live. Maryland's a great state, you should all come out here. And today I have for you a StarCraft 2 replay between ATN Dark Force, spawning as the Red Zerg on the north side of Scrap Station, and Tarson, spawning as the Blue Terran on the east side of Scrap Station. So we have Terran vs Zerg on Scrap Station. Uh, Tarson versus Dark Force. I have cast a game of Dark Force before. I can't remember who it was against, but he's in the clan ATN, which probably stands for something I'm completely forgetting right now, but I've seen several other good people from his clan, so don't underestimate him and Tarson. Well, if he's playing against Dark Force, he's probably pretty good too. Maybe he's like the super pro that I don't know, and I should know him because I'm a total noob, but um, looks like this is going to be a very good game. Uh, Zerg vs. Terran, definitely my favorite matchup. There's so many possibilities. I've seen literally every unit be used in Zerg vs. Terran. It's a very interesting matchup. And this map, while well, it is Zerg favored, the Terran can also take several expansions pretty easily, like this island one down here, or he can lift off and take these without having to destroy the rocks if he wants to try to get away with a hidden expansion for, I don't know, really easy uh, economic advantage. Also, his natural, pretty easy to secure just a siege tank up on the high ground here, and then like a bunker out there, and your natural's basically secured, I mean, except if they night a swarm you or fly in. It looks like we have Dark Force going to be gonna, going for the good old fashioned 15 hatchery. Gonna like to get his hatchery first. Very common on this map because of the huge rush distance. Not gonna expect an early rush. Gonna be interesting to see how Tarson responds to this macro oriented play. And we have a gas before spawning pool, so it looks like Dark Force is going fast, expand, and speed links. Very interesting play here. <laughs> Although I can't honestly disagree with it, because Terran are very well known for their early harass with either Banshees, Hellions, or Reapers. And Hellions and Reapers, not nearly as effective once they get speed links out. I mean, speed links are like really one of the only things you can do against Mass, Reaper, or Hellions. We finally have the spawning pool going down uh, for Dark Force. We have a uh, fast factory going down for Tars, and this Overlord going to completely see that factory, so probably going to be thinking that there is going to be a fast Hellion coming out. Tarson not making a Marine, though. I'd like to see him make a Marine to shoot this Overlord away first. Hide his expansion. Scouting is so important in StarCraft 2, for those of you who don't know. If you're losing, you're scouting wrong. Famous saying. Uh, still no second gas for Tarson, though. He pulled guys out of gas, which almost cements a fast Hellion um, harass into probably a fast expand because he's not getting any more gas. Terran normally is very gas dependent, but it looks like he's just going to build a few Hellions and probably fast expand with the uh, time the economic harass buys him. Spawning pool's almost going to be down, though. Uh, Dark Force did time that gas really well. He's at 100 gas right as the pool finishes. Oh, we have lag going down here. Lots of lag. So, anywho, very good play from Dark Force. I don't think this is a complete wall-in, actually, for Tarson. This factory's moving out. Where's it moving? It's going to switch with the barracks to get the good old-fashioned reactor add-on for Hellions. Very common to see there. Another queen coming out. And this SCB going to come in. I think he's going to die now, realizing that these Zerglings just pop. But it looks like Dark Force had them rallied. Zerglings coming back now. Going to get Mr. SCV. Run, Mr. SCV. You going to die. Uh, yeah, he's so dead. Oh, wow, it's getting very laggy here. One sec, let me see if I can fix this. Alright, I think I got that fixed here. Looks like this SCV did escape. Hoping there won't be too much more lag. <coughs> Sitting in the mid-20s frame rate right now. Anywho, back to the game. We do have two Hellions popping out right now. Looks like we're still going to get a little bit of lag, but that's okay. Two Hellions are actually already out, and here they go across the map. Do-do-do, do note. Uh, Dark Force is getting a Roach War and good response here, and these Hellions going to burn these Zerglings to a crisp. Flaming Zerglings. These Zerglings coming out. They're probably going to die if they go hit here. Hellions each sitting at one kill because they're the cool one kill club. <coughs> this Overlord didn't completely spot them and be like, oh, hi, Hellions. Uh, and we do have the expansion going up to Tarson. Sacking an Overlord, though, Dark Force. Great game sense there, knowing when to sack an Overlord in there. Oh, you're going to get a lot of Zerglings here, these Hellions are. And there are no Roaches out. The Roach Warren's still going down. And while Speed has finished for the Zerglings, there are a bunch of Hellions here. They're going into the natural again. They're going to pick off a queen, maybe? Hellions can pick off a queen with good micro. Tarson looks like he's going to be more focused on economy, though. Not microing his Hellions at the moment. We do have two roaches coming out. Several speedlings here now. He has six, six Hellions now. Is he going to go for a queen snipe? Would like to see him just micro his Hellions a better. Zerglings try to get us around. Lots of Zerglings get roasted, though. Uh, not taking down any Hellions yet. Looks like none of the Hellions went down, but there are roaches out now, though. And these roaches got a Hellion. Could be interesting to see how well Micro oh, of Dark Force can do. Really should throw up some spine cores. Spine cores very good against uh, Hellions. 
kind of cheaper than roaches too. But anywho, they see Italians if they can do good enough micro. Can eventually kill roaches. It does take forever, and it looks like uh, Tarson gonna keep up the hell in her ass popping out. Um, and he is switching kind of over to infantry. He is getting uh, weapons level one, so probably gonna be going viable after this. He does have a tech lab down on his barracks. So maybe gonna see Marine Marauder uh, to counter this Roach force. Would like to see a bunch of Marauders there. And we have a lair going down for Dark Force, so he's going to be attacking up probably into Mutalist. Very common choice on this map. It's very good. I guess Marauders, we do have Siege Tanks coming out, so probably also going to see some slow pushing. And here a bunch of Roaches go. They are going to get no kills on the Hellions. Wow, but this Queen going to get... Yeah, Queen gets one kill. Two kills. Two kill Queen. Go Queen. The rest of the Hellions trying to come in, though, but these Roaches do a really good control here from Dark Force. Going to stop this. Queen, gonna get up over here to give vision on the high ground, I guess, in case he wants to put roaches here or anything. Maybe just gonna find the Automaton 2000 and wave high to it. A lot of drones coming out for Dark Forest. He has enough defense now, so he's gonna macro really heavily. Although Tarzan is gonna be on economic advantage once this expansion down here but it does get saturated and kicks in. So, very interesting to see how this game's gonna go from here. We haven't seen either player really commit to a tech choice yet, uh, other than a macro game, which is probably what we're gonna see. We'd like to see him get siege tech. Still no siege tech going down. More barracks going up there, so we'll look for Tarson to keep pretty heavily into the Marine Marauder. Gleal reconstitution going down for the Zerg player. His good old fashioned or roaches. Roach speed, very important, especially when they're on creep and dealing with this kind of Hellion harass. And it looks like Tarson has stopped Hellion production, so he is gonna just deal with these five. Currently sitting at one, four, ooh, four and three, so eight kills overall. Most of those things were on circles. We do have a starport going down. Uh, delayed starport, probably gonna be for medivacs to do a hellion drops. What I can assume because he has all these hellions, almost gonna take one down. Ooh, forgetting that they were from Tarson. Dark Force trying to sneak up on the hellions and get a snipe off. Here. So I guess probably gonna see medivacs because. Uh, Hellion drops, very underrated uh, Terran tactic for getting Zerg, because Zerg always think, oh, the Hellion's gonna run in here because they're so fast, but no, when they fall from the sky, it can be very deadly. Finally, Siege Tech going down, and it looks like Tarson, guessing Mutilus, is gonna put down a missile turret uh, somewhere uh, over by his natural, figuring that, oh, they're definitely gonna be Mutilus this time. This Hellion gonna be totally owned there, a uh, really bad call. And Tarson, good job here scouting, grabbing the watchtowers with Hellions, making sure the Zerg hasn't uh, snuck his pension anywhere. I like this call with the creep up here. If this overlord starts pooping creep on the ground, you can spread creep tumors like that to make it go a lot faster. Um, gonna be interesting to see what he does with that. I like these weird creep spread techniques. This hell ain't going down. Looks like Zorch is gonna be pretty effective, uh, especially against this marine ball that doesn't have any siege tank or marauder backup. Dark Force, uh, pretty good unit composition to take this out. Although there are three siege tanks. Once they get siege mode, they'll be very strong. Medivac, first one is out. Uh, do not see another one on the way. And we have a mutinized carapace for the overlords coming out, along with infestation pit and a baneling nest. So it looks like Dark Force, seeing that there's going to be some M&M, &M, uh, with a bit of mech, is going to get infester baneling. Very effective against Terran ground. Infester baneling owns almost everything Terran ground has to offer. Would like to